Hey guys, it's Katie from Mattress Clarity. Today I've got the Tuft & Needle pillow to review. I'm gonna give you all my thoughts on it, but I'm also gonna have my colleague Martin tell you what he thinks as well. He's a little bit bigger than me, so it'd be great to get his take as well. So if you've got any questions, don't hesitate to let me know by commenting below, but also if you're interested in our top picks, definitely Google Mattress Clarity Best Pillows. Now let's get started. I'm gonna go over the key features of this pillow first, give you an idea of what it's like. So it comes in two different sizes, standard and king. This is the standard size. Both have a five inch height profile. So there's five inches here. Now the outside cover is a soft knit. It's mostly polyester, but you'll also have tensile and a little bit of elastane. Elastane is gonna give it some stretch to it. So there's a zipper on this end. You can unzip it and machine wash the cover, but you will need to air dry it. Now inside is a solid piece of ventilated T and N adaptive foam. So this foam is supposed to be sort of the best mix of memory foam and latex foam, but I really feel like it's got a little bit more of a latex feel to it. It's a little bit lighter weight and it's got some bounce, but I would say it's around the medium to maybe medium firm thickness. Now it's hypoallergenic made in the USA and you get a hundred night trial with the pillow as well. Here's what I liked about the Tuft & Needle pillow. I really like that the soft knit cover is removable and you can throw it in the washing machine. It's really breathable because it's got tensile on the outside and the foam in the center is ventilated. Also, I'm primarily a back and side sleeper and because of the relative medium to firm firmness in this five inch profile, I was able to seamlessly sleep from my side and move to my back at night with no issues. It won't go flat and it's hypoallergenic, so if you've got allergies, you don't have to worry. There's a few things I want you to think about with regards to the Tuft & Needle pillow before you make the purchase. First of all, if you're a stomach sleeper, there is a five inch profile here. And as I mentioned before, it's got a sort of a thicker medium to firm feel overall that might be too much strain on your neck. The other thing I want you to think about is if you like a fluffy pillow, that down or down alternative feel, this is definitely foam. It's that proprietary TNN adaptive foam. Definitely feels more like latex. It's got more of a response. So if you want a fluffy, go down on down alternative. If you want to sink in, definitely consider something that's more memory foam. While you can throw this in the machine to wash it, you cannot do that for the dryer. You have to let it air dry, so something to think about. And the last thing I wanna bring up is the price. It's a little bit on the pricier side, $75 for the standard and $100 for the king. Hey guys, Mark here to offer a different perspective. Katie's more of a back sleeper and I'm a side sleeper. I'm also a larger person when I give my experience with this Tuft & Needle pillow here. So for me on my side, I felt very, very nice. It has kind of a good loft to it. It's medium firm. I didn't sink in too far. It also has a really good um, kind of balanced feel. You're gonna have a little bit of that latex bounce, also a little bit of that memory foam sinking feel. Also, it's a breathable pillow, so when I was sleeping on it, I felt very, very cool and relaxed. So if you want a cool sleeping pillow, this could be a match for you. Also, if you're a heavier side sleeper like me, this could be a good match. Even if you're a lighter side sleeper, this could be a good match for you. As a back and side sleeper, I really enjoyed my experience with the Tuft & Needle pillow. It was just the right amount of height and that overall medium to firmer thickness that kept me comfortable all night long. It's so nice because it's breathable and it's easy to clean. I do think that if you are on a budget or you're primarily a stomach sleeper, this may not be the best fit for you, but it does have a 100 night trial, so it could be worth checking out either way. If you've got any questions or you want a personal recommendation on a pillow, don't hesitate to comment below and I'll check back soon. Thanks.